good everybody welcome to an epic my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we are finally going to be completing elite series 77 ravishing rick rude viscera and miss elizabeth in the house we are going to do their individual reviews probably not diving in too too deep into it we're not going to spend a ton of time on it but we are going to get through their accessories their their figures themselves we're going to compare them to the rest of the set and we are going to be ranking elite series 77 from worst to best in this video really excited to do so this set was all over the place you know we got the fiend first we reviewed him first. I felt like he needed his own review. We came back yesterday and saw Ronda Rousey and AJ Styles. If you guys missed that video, definitely go check that out. And we're back today to finish up our set three different figures, three flashback figures, which is kind of insane for this set. You don't typically see that. You usually get one. Two would be absurd, but three, Brad? That's kind of insanity. I can't remember the last set that had three flashbacks in it. Watch it not even be that long ago or something. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and dive in. You got your front viewing windows here. Beautiful Rude, beautiful Viscera, beautiful Elizabeth. Spinning it to the right, you have all three of their images right there on the side. Viscera probably looks the best out of the three. What do you think? Spinning them around again, you have three bio reads instead of two. If you guys would like to read any of them you can pause it now now pause it Spinning it to the right again, you have three more images of them in the ring, and that pretty much does it for their packaging, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and crack all three of these guys out of their packaging. All right, guys, so here is Ravishing Rick Rude, Viscera, and Miss Elizabeth all out of their packaging. Looking pretty mice, I might say. I don't know why they call them mice. It's nice, you stupid jackass. But you'll also notice that the exposure on the camera is super freaking white and bright and just kind of drowning out the figures. And I don't know if that's because this is so dark right here that it's kind of contrasting. Like, putting my hand up there makes it better, definitely. Oh, yeah, that's that's way better there. Oh, my God, why is it doing that? And now she's face-planted. What, are we running a damn circus? But anyways, guys, let's just go ahead and... And dive into all three figures all together and then we're going to do some comparisons. Then we're just going to rank Elite Series 77 from worst to best. So with Miss Elizabeth, you don't get much, guys. You literally just get mic holding hands and then out of the packaging she comes with slapping hands. Now the thing about these slapping hands, I don't remember the last time they've done this or if they've ever done this, but you guys can see they put a hinge in the slapping hand. Usually, let me see if I can find a... Okay, here's a perfect example. This Ronda Rousey figure right here, you guys will notice there is no hinge right here, so they cannot really articulate articulate they can just you know rotate here so them adding this hinge here is is huge i'm not sure if the last miss elizabeth had that i've never owned that figure but this looks great i like the yellow and red going on i love the hinge right there so she can do all kinds of poses you get some slap shot articulation right there single jointed arms with the sleeves on there cloth dress which is really nice i'd love to see this implemented in other figures like if this viscera had it we'll dive into it but underneath here you do get her little one piece or whatever you want to call oh my god in heaven so you really Rip that bottom portion off and you do have the undergarment there and this top portion can also velcro off which is very unique if you wanted to take that off you could and underneath it is just a yellow with red underneath right there if anybody was wondering but that's pretty wicked i think that mattel did a good job on that i think this face sculpt i think it does have the true effects technology and i honestly i don't really see miss elizabeth in here like it's a pretty face and everything for the figure but i just don't see necessarily miss elizabeth in the face if that makes sense she does have double jointed knees i think her figure was like one of the only women's figures to have double jointed knees for a very long time but now the rest of the women's figures are catching up with her and she also has just single jointed right here on the foot you can't rotate this or nothing it's just a single kick forward and kick back and uh yeah that pretty much does it for our miss elizabeth now if we put elizabeth back we will go into viscera right here and for viscera he comes with the hardcore championship he comes with signature daddy v hands or whatever you want to call this looking pretty good i love the sculpt going on with these and the darker skin in tone, you've got the mic holding hands as well. So he comes with three interchangeable pairs of hands. You have mic holding, you have the Big Daddy V hands, and then you have fists on him out of the packaging that look really good, which is kind of weird because the fisted hands are all black. So it's like he's wearing all black gloves out of the packaging, but then in his other interchangeable hands, they are fingerless gloves, which I'm not sure if he ever was on TV with full gloves. On the back of the packaging, actually, you guys can see if we zoom in right here, he is wearing gloves that are fully black and not fingerless. So I'm not exactly sure. Maybe he was on TV with both. But on this Viscera figure, I think the head sculpt looks really good. I'm actually pretty impressed with it. It is different than our King Mabel. Now we're just waiting on our Big Daddy V with all the tattoos and stuff. I think that's going to be a really nice figure. The only con about this figure is that the torso, you can't, I mean, the, the, all the articulation that you get with King Mabel is fantastic, but you do not get that articulation with this guy because this big rubber piece, you can't ab crunch. You can, you can rotate a little bit. Uh, the legs 
legs can't kick forward that much. Like, he can kick forward a little bit, but not very much. He will stand and stuff. The sculpting on these shoulders and arms is really nice. That trench coat, you know, leather trench coat style they got going on is really, really cool. They are single jointed, of course, but uh, the head sculpt looks fantastic. I love the blonde mohawk and everything. It looks like Viscera. I like the Viscera figure, but he can't move around a lot, which is a design choice that I think they were pretty much handcuffed with just because, uh, I mean, what would you make this? Cloth, and then it wouldn't be leathery, and then it wouldn't be accurate that much, and it would be hard to get details in there. But I don't know. You know, sometimes it's like that with a Mattel figure. Sometimes you get that, and that's okay, but it could hurt it in the ranking when we get it there. And then for our final figure, guys, we do have Ravishing Rick Rude. Now, for his accessories, you do get this Simply Ravishing robe that is in black and gold polka dots. You have the stuff going around. I don't think it Velcro. Oh, it does. It does Velcro in the middle, so if you wanted to Velcro that, you got that. You got the gold shimmer going around. Very nice material. Uh, underneath, he does have his anchor tap, and he has a little bit of smudging right there from the ink of the robe, so that's kind of unfortunate. I like the head sculpt that we got going on right here. I think this is actually a really strong Rick Rude head sculpt. I think it looks like him. It's probably the best Rick Rude head sculpt to date. Of course, it's Ravishing Rick Rude, so he's going to be sculpted and ripped up. You got his Ultimate Warrior style attire going on. On the back, it says, Feel the Heat. Very beautiful. I love all the graphics. He had some of the best ring gears, man. That, that airbrushed ring gear that he used to rock. And the best part of the figure is the boots. Look at these. Simply Ravishing with the yellow and the navyish blue. Really dark. It may be black, actually. It just kind of looks like navy. But you got the yellow, white, and black on the boots. He does come with three pairs of interchangeable hands. Mike holding hands out of the packaging. He does have the leg slap hands or the, the wide open hands for posing. And then he also comes with fists. So if you guys were interested in that, the best part of the figure is the attire slash boots. And don't forget about the beautiful looking mustache. Now, if we're going to dive into the rest of these figure comparisons, I don't have any other Rick Rude. I used to have that 47 one or what was it? The Legend series. I can't remember which. What was, what was the one in the pink? I can't remember what series it was. But that specific Rick Rude, I used to have it, but then I think I traded it or sold it or something. And then for Miss Elizabeth, this is the first Miss Elizabeth I've ever owned. And then for Viscera, I do have a figure comparison that we can do. It is the Elite 68 Wave King Mabel figure. And this is beautiful, man. It's kind of funny how he was featured in Elite Series 68, and then he was also featured in Elite Series 77. Both SummerSlam waves that we've gotten from Mattel in the main Elite line. And both of these are so good. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Look at this articulation. This is one of the best figures Mattel's ever made, in my personal opinion. With all the articulation that you can get, he feels really good in the hand and uh, Viscera is not that way simply because you can't really pose him around that much, but uh, that pretty much does it for our figure comparisons, guys. So with that being said, let's go ahead and rank Elite Series 77 from worst to best. Alright guys, it is that time we are ready to rank Elite Series 77 from worst to best. Overall on the set, not the greatest set in the world. I just think it's kind of, I don't know, maybe just due to the flashback figures that we got in this set. It's not a bad set by any means, which we're going to get into. But if we're going to start off with the worst figure in the set, in my personal opinion, I'm going to, uh, this is so difficult to be honest with you, man. But let's go ahead and dive in with the worst figure in the set, in my opinion. And I'm going to go with Viscera. Now this actually pains me to say, I really didn't want to put Viscera at the bottom. Him, but the only reason why he's here is because his lack of articulation. Uh, if I wanted to put this guy in the pick fed, it would be the biggest headache in the entire world. How you just, I mean, you just can't you know what I'm saying? It's very hard to like pose him around and do some creative things with him. So that is the only reason that I would deduct the points. I think it looks just like Viscera. I think it's a great figure to put on display and for images and stuff like that if he's just standing around. But as far as getting him into poses, it would be very, very difficult. So that is why Viscera comes in at the bottom of our ranking. Moving it up to number five, guys, I have to go with Miss Elizabeth. Now, this isn't really a deduct on Miss Elizabeth. I just think that there are better figures in the set. The head sculpt isn't the best as far as as the likeness is concerned. I think it looks similar to her, but I still think that it's just, it's not a complete oh yeah, that's Miss Elizabeth. I like the attire. I love the cloth dress. I like the double jointed knees and the heels and everything, but overall, I just don't see it as a need. I don't see it as a figure that can, ten, can contend with the rest in the set and therefore, that is why she comes in at number five. Coming in at number four, guys, this one's kind of difficult for me, but I'm gonna go with AJ Styles. I'm going AJ Styles as the number four best figure in the series. I like 
like the head sculpt. I like the red gloves and the forearm band and everything like that, but it's another black attire AJ Styles. It's a reused head sculpt, and for those reasons, I'm out. No, but seriously, though, that is the only reason. I think it is a better figure, obviously, than Viscera and Miss Elizabeth, but it just was not good enough to be higher in my ranking. Coming in at number three, guys, we do have Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Now, for Rowdy Ronda Rousey, she's still a fantastic figure. I like the head sculpt. I like the black attire. The double-jointed knees are super sweet, nasty farticles. I love the feet. I, I, I love this figure. I think it's a badass figure. It's definitely her best elite to date, and it's a super fun figure to pose around. Not as good as the Ultimate, but what do you expect? That's not why it came in that low. It's, it's the middle ground for me. It's a little bit better than the fourth best figure, and I don't know. I just love posing it around. It's just a really fun figure. Didn't come with the most accessories. Reused head sculpt, just repainted, and I just wanted to put it at the three spot. I thought it was good enough for the three, not high enough for the two. Coming in at number two and one, guys, what do you guys expect this to be? I mean, my God, you should already know as soon as you clicked on the video, you probably knew what would be number one. That's right, Rick Rude. Rick Rude comes in at number one. I'm just kidding. Rick Rude is number two. The Fiend Bray Wyatt is number one. I mean, I don't know what else you want me to say. This figure definitely lived up to the hype. It's a very good Elite 77 figure. It's a fantastic WWE figure. Everything about it, it does not come with a trench coat. And outside of my one figure having that shoulder issue, I thank God my other one didn't have that problem. And I just love everything about it. I like the new body molds. I like everything going on. The head sculpt's beautiful. It's the Fiend. I mean, what do you want me to say? The Rick Rue came in at number two because I love the attire. I love the boots. I think it's a pretty much perfect figure from head to toe. And I could not say that for the rest of the figures outside of the Fiend. And uh, this Rick Rude figure is very damn nice. And I'm not a flashback guy, but I love this Rick Rude. I actually like Rick Rude a lot, even though I didn't even grow up watching him. He's just a great character. I thought he was fantastic. And that's why he came in at number two, man. But the Fiend had to be the king of Elite Series 77. I mean, what do you want? But that pretty much does it for the rest of Elite Series 77. I had a ton of fun reviewing this set for you guys. I know that this set was a little bit odd as far as the reviews go because we had a one and then a two and then a three. And it was a little bit all over the place for the final review, but I hope you guys enjoyed the ranking of Elite Series 77 from worst to best. If you want to pick up any of these figures, guys, you can totally do so by going to WrestlingFigures.com, Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I think overall the set is solid. It's not the greatest set in the world, but it's definitely not a bad set. But the Elite 77 Fiend definitely comes out on top. I got a ton of content coming your way this weekend. We got Friday Night Smackdown review going up probably later tonight. We got My Damn Halls coming up. A couple episodes of My Damn Halls. We got our Backlash review this weekend another ranking video, as well as our MDT Battle Royal. So there you go. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.